Alright, so hi guys. An RC circuit, also known as the RC filter or RC network, is mainly composed, of course, of your resistor and capacitor together with certain constant voltage source or current source. This is useful in electronics, especially because of its charging and discharging uh, features. Also, we use RC circuit in modeling the electrical signal transmission in a neuron. So this is very useful. Let's start. For this experiment, we're going to use a breadboard, multimeter, and our DC power supply. We have here uh, an electrolytic capacitor with a value of 220 microfarad together with a resistor with the value of 100 kilo ohm. Then we set up our circuit diagram in our breadboard. This yellow wire here will act as the ground and later as switch B while the topmost uh, red wire will act as the A switch. For the charging mode, we will connect switch A. So we will turn on this switch A by connecting it uh, to the top of our resistor R as shown in the circuit diagram. Then, uh, we connect the voltmeter in parallel with the capacitor. This will acquire voltage reading across this capacitor. Now, we turn on our DC power supply as we observe the reading from our digital multimeter. This gives us the varying values of our voltage across the capacitor as a function of time. Then we can plot it later as shown in the figure. While running this stopwatch, observe the increase in the voltage reading across the capacitor. Record the voltage across the capacitor, let's say every 5 seconds. And do not stop the stopwatch in the duration of data collection. For the charging process, the time constant tau for this circuit is equal to RC. For our case, it's 22 seconds. Um, and this tau is equal to the time for this potential or voltage V to reach 63% of its final value. For demonstration purposes, we will now turn off our DC power supply to observe the discharging mode of our RC circuit. We will remove uh, the switch A and the power supply. Then later, we will connect the yellow wire that will act as our switch B. So we will connect it at the top of the resistor R and it will serve as the, the switch B. And now we can observe the voltage across the capacitor. It is now discharging and the voltage is now decreasing as a function of time. While the stopwatch is running, observe the decrease in the voltage reading across the capacitor. Then uh, record the voltage across the capacitor, let's say every 5 seconds also. Hey guys, I hope you have learned something in this video. If you like my content, please consider subscribing my YouTube channel, JP Academia. And if you're new in YouTube, 
there is a button right down below this video yes click that to subscribe see you then